What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be breaking down Brandon Lowe uh, or an element of Brandon Lowe's swing. We're going to talk about the hand path versus the barrel path um, and kind of like the whole feel versus real to it. I think it's a good visual um, and learning opportunity here. So let's just dive right into it. Checking out Brandon Lowe, the Tampa Bay Rays. We're going to take him into launch position. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to highlight the approximate path kind of draw a line here okay and this line is going to kind of is going to be an indicator for or kind of reference for the hands as you can kind of see how the hands they kind of come almost like an airplane coming in for landing they get onto this this level plane and then kind of ride it out a little bit and this pitch is up in the zone a little bit just a hair above the belt so another tip here is like learning how to hit a high pitch those hands got to work above work across kind of the, the chest line um, and staying above the baseball. As you can see, you know, we've got the, um, let's see, as you can see, we have the hands up here, the ball, the ball being made contact down here, head down, eyes down, good stuff like this, good strong position, like picture perfect, like mechanics. Um, but then we're going to go, let's see, let's get that line back. Okay, there's the line. And so this is one of the things, you know, people, the big debate of like, you know, swinging up or swinging down, um, feel versus real and stuff. And so I just think that this is like a good visual to see how the hand path is different than the barrel path, right? The barrel is the bat. The barrel is not, um, the barrel is not a part of the body. So it's hard to feel the barrel per se. But one of the things that we can that we we need to understand is just that the barrel kind of has this kind of motion. Let's check that out. Is that good? That's pretty good. Pretty on point, right? Eh, a little off in the back. Here, let's let's redo that. Something like that. Let's try that again. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's on it. Okay, so there's your barrel path. Okay. It's got the whole working behind and everything, you know, all the stuff that everybody talks about, okay? And then we're going to highlight now, now we're going to highlight the hands, okay? Let's get a yellow. Ah. Now we're going to highlight the hands. Now the hands are going to be something a bit different. That's pretty close. No, maybe a little off. So they do, they level back out. Right. Let's see that. Is that pretty good? Pretty good. You get the idea. Okay. So this is an important thing to understand. And you can kind of see how we have like a backward, like swoop, Nike swoosh here too, um, is that the hand path and the barrel path are going to be different. You as a hitter, you can feel where your hands are. This is often why you'll hear uh, many older school big leaguers, if you want to call it that, um, talk hands to the ball, down to the ball. It's because that's what helps their hands feel, helps them feel what their hands are doing. Because if they know whatever feel they're going for in their swing that creates the result that they want, then that's what they're trying to recreate. And whatever their hand, whatever it feels like their hands are doing, well, then they're just going to repeat that over and over because it's what works. It's what works for them. But what I want people to understand is like, now I don't know what low is thinking. Okay. What his approach is, but right here, when you have your hands working up and across the top of the zone like this, this is where many players do have that down feel or even like a level out feel. And I mean, you can see how like this is a pretty level. If you focus on his hands, focus on Lowe's hands. This is a very flat, like relatively flat line for his hands. You could see even from like right here, let's, let's highlight. Let's highlight his hands right here. Okay. And then we're going to take him through to extension. Right. How about that? They literally were pretty much straight from where they started. Yeah, they went down a little, but they're pretty much on that general line. Boom to right there. So this is where some players think down, some players think level, and what their hands are doing is what they feel the most. 
right? Because when you're swinging at such a high speed, you it's, it's difficult to feel exactly what the barrel is doing. So this is why feel versus real is very important to understand that it's all about the feel. I mean, obviously, it's all about the right feel that leads to the right reel. But you have to understand that this is more, it's more repeatable to focus and keeps you present and in the moment to think about the feel that you're going for. And then look, meanwhile, you're fo- we're focused on the hands, the hand path and the extension with the hands. But look at what his barrel's doing. Huh, how about that? His barrel is working back behind, down and back and through and up through. Down and back and up through. Yet his hands remained on a pretty, it's hard to argue, but a pretty level plane. Okay, so again, you hear players describing their swing as in down or level or, or what. This is why they feel that because that's their actual part of their body that is moving on that plane. So there is feel isn't that it's not real. There's real elements to it because that is what they are doing. But when you swing at such a high speed, other things change. Really good extension right there. Okay. So anyways, this is kind of just the point I wanted to highlight. Okay. So when you're thinking about feel, When you're hitting the ball your best, I want you to think about what is it, what are you thinking about? What does it feel like your hands are doing? Because in a game, you need those feels to keep you present, to keep you on your process in the game, not worried about launch angle and worried about getting hits. You got to focus on the process, which will yield you the best results possible. So ask yourself, when you are hitting your best, what does it feel like your hands are doing? Some people might say nothing, and that's fine too. Then that's what you want to feel. That helps you use your body more. That helps you stay loose, right? If you feel like you take your hands to the ball, then why not try to recreate that that feel, whether it's real or not, okay? So anyways, just a point I wanted to highlight. It's a good visual, great swing, and a good visual. Um, Flatter hand path is going to naturally create an arc, as the body turns, see how everything turns, that barrel is going back, he's connected, the barrel is working behind. There's no snapping of the wrists. That's again, that's just a feel. But the barrel works naturally behind and up through and a very flat with the hands, especially for high pitches. So guys, if you're interested in having me break down your swing, uh, give you some help with your mental approach, uh, developing a process, uh, a routine, um, I'm giving away a free online hitting lesson. Uh, You can check out the link in the description below. You will work directly with me and I will help you dial in your mental approach, uh, critique your mechanics, um, and see if there's anything there that we can improve on. And you'll get access to my hitting drills and mental training videos all within this one lesson. So be sure to check out the link in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.